Well, you guys got another rogue removal video here for you. As you can see, this one's called Win7 Antivirus Pro 2013. This is just one of the names it uses. It also uses Win7 uh, Anti Spyware Pro 2013. It's the same thing, it's just a different name, and you can remove it in the same way. As you can see, we've got a lot of pop ups popping up on the screen. And uh, basically, if you're running XP, you're going to have uh, XP Antivirus Pro 2013, and if you're running Vista, it'll have Vista uh, Antivirus Pro 2013. And if you're running any of those, you may also have the anti spyware version, which will say anti spyware instead of antivirus. It's the same thing, okay? You can remove it in the same way. So let's have a look at the actual program. As you can see, it's trying to lure you to go to here to pay for it. And don't pay for these, they are fake. Um, they are trying to scam you, they're cyber criminals. And uh, once you've uh, paid for it, it, it says it's going to remove all these bogus um, viruses on your system, which is basically not true they're not on the system at all it's just a fake scan and uh, it looks pretty convincing to a lot of people that some people will pay for these um, because they think it's going to fix their issues so how can we get rid of it well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now first thing you want to do is use this code and if this code doesn't work for you it doesn't matter I'll show you a way of removing it without the code but this code should work with all uh, variants of this, either antivirus or anti spyware, XP, Vista, or 7, and you just put the actual code in here. Code should be on the screen right now, and then click on activate. Okay, so what does it do? Well, it does the normal stuff blocks task manager, as you can see, blocks registry editor, and stuff like that. So if you type reg edit here, it will block it. It also blocks command prompts and all those okay now you can remove these and the best place to remove these is in safe mode with networking and if you don't know how to do that then the instructions should be on the screen right now just follow those instructions to get to safe mode networking and then you can run these tools that I'm going to show you how to do now so I'm going to do mine from the desktop here but you should be in safe mode with networking by now so the first thing I'm going to do is come down to uh, start button here click computer and I'm going to click on the computer icon up here hit the delete key and I'm going to paste in my direct link for iExplore.exe this is a direct link and it should allow you to download a file that's going to kill the process now we'll put all these direct links into the description of the video so you can use them okay now once we run this, this will kill this process and we'll be able to run some scans from the desktop. It's pretty straightforward really. So what we'll do here is uh, I'm going to right click and run this as administrator. And as you can see straight away it's killed that process and it's called ng, you can see there, ngk.exe. Yours may have a different name to it, um, but basically yeah, once you've run this, uh, it should kill that process and you should be good to go here okay and it gives you a log file and you can go through this if you're experienced and you know what you're doing if you're not just save it on your desktop okay so now we've got that process killed off we can now run malwarebytes now if you can't run anything if you've not used rkill and you've used another program like um, sys internals or something like that then you may need to repair the executable part okay the exe.exe and you can do that with this uh, regfix file and I will put the link in the description for you and this just basically fixes the shell and everything else and allows you to run programs okay and this will be in there as well so if you've used a different method to kill the process then you can use that regfix you can get that on bleeping computer and uh, malware tips there's a few places that do those uh, registry fixes and I will put those links in the description so thanks to those guys so let's run this uh, update here first always update first once you've done that then you run your scanner pretty simple really it's really these videos are really designed for people that don't know how to get rid of them
Okay, so that's the scan now finished. We're going to click OK here, and as you can see, objects detected one, and that's it there. So we're going to just remove this from the system. It wants us to restart, but um, I'm not going to restart in this case, but you should hit restart at this stage. Another tool you want to use is a uh, TDSS killer. It's just to make sure no rootkits have dropped on the system as well. You can also run Hitman Pro. Um, it's another tool you can use, and I will put those links in the description for you. Okay, so another tool we can use is Rogue Killer, and uh, you should update this. Okay, I've just said no to that, but you should update and you'll get a license agreement for it because you want to use the latest version of Tixi so you want to visit his site regularly and use the latest version for this okay run a scan and if you've got any issues it will show up any processes it will kill those this is designed for killing rogues and stuff as well it's pretty good at doing other stuff um, but if you've got any issues with host files you can always hit the host fix host and the fix proxy and fix DNS and then you should start to get your internet back and you can see here um, it's unknown this so we're gonna delete that and then basically that's that and you should be back up and running pretty quickly okay it's very simple very easy to do and I hope it's uh, been useful for you so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button and rate and favorite my videos and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.